Hello, everybody. Uh, Dr. Greg Hanselcheck from the Kansas State Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory and the College of Veterinary Medicine at Kansas State University. Thought we'd just uh, spend a few minutes talking about nutritional diagnostics for cow calf herds. Uh, it's it's always appropriate this time of year as as our cows uh, start going into the third trimester of gestation, where that fetus is growing tremendously quickly and the uterus and the placenta are putting metabolic demands on the cows. And so there's there's some there's always some issues every year, but just recently because of the extreme cold temperatures that we've had, uh, there's been some, it's actually exasperated those uh, metabolic demands on the cows. And just want to go through a, a couple things that uh, veterinarians and producers can do to diagnose the energy and the protein uh, level, dietary level of the of the animals as they're in in the third trimester of, of gestation, and just as a kind of a refresher is that uh, this is a table to show stage of gestation. I just took two stages: 130 days uh, pregnant, 250 days pregnant, and then the the demands just for pregnancy. So if we look at 130 days. The demands just for pregnancy for that cow is about nine grams of available protein per day. When she gets to 250 days, that last month before calving, that increases to 95.2 grams, so times 10. We look at energy, 130 days, and this is just for pregnancy, not a great big demand, 4.33 megacals per day. But when we get to 250 days, it increases again 10 times up to 3.33. And so this, this isn't taken into consideration in any of the extreme cold or anything else. This is just a normal uh, 1400 pound cow uh, in different stages of gestation. So uh, the metabolic demands are, are tremendous during these period of time. And one of the questions always is, well, how do I know that I'm meeting their, their needs? I can have a, a ration that is balanced and it's balanced off of uh, tested forages and feeds, but how do I really know? And there's, a, there's some ways of doing that. Uh, one is body condition scoring. So we can go out there and see whether our animals are, are losing weight. The downside of that is that it, it's going to take, there's some lag time. So if the you know, typical body condition score in a cow uh, is anywhere from between 100 and 150 pounds, it's going to take a few days for, for that to, for the human to be able to uh, actually observe that. There are actually a couple of uh, blood tests that are uh, current, meaning we can take the blood sample today and that'll tell us the, the energy and the protein status of these animals at that particular time. And the two tests are number one is, we just call it NEFA. It's non-esterified fatty acids. When we, that's what we're gonna use to, to assess the energy status of our pre-calving cows. And then another blood sample can use the same sample for both these tests, but it's going to be blood or serum, urea, nitrogen, and that's going to assess our protein status. Because we, we can always in any herd expect some animals to not be in a, a positive energy status or positive protein status, we need to look at this from a herd standpoint. And so what we need to do is to sample about 12 cows, certainly at least 10, and if 10 10% of those have a, a NEFA that's above 0.4 milligrams per deciliter. That's a very good indication that, that the herd is experiencing severe negative, uh, negative, negative energy balance in the herd. If 25% or more have a decreased BUN, uh, less than six milligrams per deciliter, this is a, a very good indication that the herd is uh, experiencing a protein deficiency. And, from the results from this, we can uh, modify the diet to start taking care of, of these uh, of the needs of these animals as we move more towards calving. So, really think these are two important, uh, relatively inexpensive tools that, like I said, producers and, and veterinarians can use to assess the the energy and protein status of, of the beef cow herds as we as we process and get, and go through uh, through the calving season. Again, you can contact us at KSVDL. Our website is ksvdl.org and telephone number toll free 866-512-5650.
Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.